Hi, I'm Ayo Tunde Baloku, and here's your Channel's TV Evening News Recap for October the 30th, 2019. The Supreme Court has dismissed an appeal filed by main opposition candidate Atiku Abubakar and his party, the People's Democratic Party, the PDP, challenging the victory of President Muhammad Buhari in the February the 23rd, 2019 presidential election. Delivering judgment on the appeal, the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Tanku Mohammed, who led six other justices of the Apex Court, delivered the verdict which put pay to the legal dispute over the presidential poll. Reacting to the verdict, Atiku said he has fought a good fight and must accept that the judicial route which he chose to take as a Democrat has come to a conclusion. Meanwhile, gunmen have abducted another judge, this time in Benin City, the Edo State Capital. Justice Chama Wosuihem of the Benin Court of Appeal was kidnapped today on her way to the court. The Edo State Commissioner of Police, Mr. Dan Mala Mohammed, who confirmed the incident to Channel's television, says a manhunt has been launched to track down the gunman and rescue the judge. In Abuja, a federal high court has adjourned for hearing the bill application filed by the former chairman of the defunct Pension Reform Task Team, Mr. Abdul Rashid Maina, to November the 6th this year. Justice Okon Aban gave the ruling and the resumed trial of Mr. Maina after taking the arguments of the prosecution and defense counsel. The former pension reform task team chairman is being prosecuted by the anti-graft agency on a 12-count charge bordering on money laundering, operating fictitious bank accounts and even fraud. On the international scene, local media in Kenya say militants from the Somalia-based Islamist group Al-Shabaab have raided a police station in the northeastern region of Wajir. The Daily Nation race paper reports that the militants attacked the Dajabula police station in Rajir South in the early hours with heavy artillery, including rocket-propelled grenades. And in sports, Nigeria's Golden Eaglets midfielder Ibrahim Saeed is hungry for more goals at the ongoing FIFA Under-17 World Cup after netting the first hat-trick at this year's tournament in Brazil. Saeed became the seventh Golden Eaglets player to hit the back of the net three times in an Under-17 World Cup match more than any other nation. And that's the news recap for today. Don't forget to join us tomorrow for fresh updates. I'm Ayo Tunde Balogun. Thank you for watching.